Today, I'm looking at DVLA's Phantom. So you might be wondering exactly what is this strange space age looking contraption that resembles Eva from the Pixar movie Wall-E. This just might be the finest wireless speaker known to man. So unfortunately Sonos, you might need to relax and take two. DVLA, which is a French company founded in 2007, described the Phantom as an implosive sound center. Look at that dust cloud, man! Wow! Whoa. It's safe to say that the French know a thing or two about music. No. Hold on, can we change this up a bit? That's better, I don't regret doing that. So a brief summary of the company behind the Phantom. DVLA are in fact the most awarded company ever in the history of the planet in their field of audio equipment, and for a good reason. Somehow, with a little je ne sais quoi, they have managed to combine analog and digital amplification into one system, an analog digital hybrid. Now this is no easy feat, and it has taken them nearly three years to perfect. The result? The ADH metaphorically brings you the equivalent of the world's most legendary conductor known to man, orchestrating the world's brightest and talented musicians. Another unique feature to the Phantom is the DVLA Magic Wire. And it's quite interesting and very technical. And it's actually not a wire, but I'll let you read up on that one. But just know this, the magic wire is a dream for audiophiles as it reduces the noise and distortion to a minimum. I spit it through the wire, man. Wait, stop that music. It's not a wire. The Phantom actually boasts nearly 100 patents and no internal wires at all. So this diagram is drawn to scale and you can see here the original size of the ADH chip and the magic wire. So just look, no wires. Now that looks, well, I guess it looks like a circuit board if I'm honest. And if that doesn't impress at 20 centimeters squared, then this might. DVLA have managed to compact the chip down to two centimeters squared. Now onto another really special and unique feature to the Phantom. It's DVLA's very own speaker active matching system, or SAM. Stupid fat hobbit. No, I'm not talking about that stupid fat hobbit. So when I first saw this thing, I was like, wow, have they finally made some kind of Jedi lightsaber training device? And then it suddenly started breathing like a fish. And I was like, whoa, what the? That's when I realized it was in fact a speaker and the movement it was making, I now know is the SAM system in action. Basically, what it does is it allows the drivers to scientifically and mathematically with the help of a dual core processor, match the output air pressure of the original music recording. Simply put, what it means is you get an exact alignment between the recorded music signal and the pressure wave that hits the listener's ear. This might be the most significant feature and the heart of the Phantom. It is the heart base implosion system. My heart imploded once is when I heard Sega weren't gonna make any more consoles. Sega! But anyway, so typically speaking, a regular speaker needs lots of space to move air around and vents to create bassy low end sounds. The Phantom, however, uses a pressurized enclosure, which means high efficiency even at low frequencies. And in fact, with 20 times less space than a regular high-end speaker, the Phantom can produce almost exact pressure and wavelength you would get from a huge church organ. Just like that one in Phantom of the Opera. This is achieved with its two 3-litre enclosures which can handle up to 20 times the pressure of a regular box speaker, which is 174 decibels sound pressure level. And what I'm about to say is no joke. That is the same pressure level associated with the launch of a rocket. EVLA went to great lengths to engineer a driver that actually wouldn't implode inside of the Phantom. So they brought in experts from the automotive industry with expertise in high pressure components, as well as micro mechanics. Not actual miniature mechanics, but experts in micro mechanics, as well as specialists in high-end efficiency professional speakers, you know, stuff they use in concerts. So the last couple of things I should mention, these are Wi-Fi speakers. The EVLA have an intuitive app that you can use on your phone or tablet called Spark that will let you control the phantoms and fill your house with good vibrations. And you can connect up to 24 phantoms to your home network. And this is interesting, the gasket behind the subwoofer has been pressurized with 1.2 tons of force.
so these speakers will definitely be powerful. So all in all the Phantom looks phenomenal, futuristic in its design and of course it's fashionably stylish. After all it is French and when you turn this thing up it can hit all the feel good frequencies that formerly you might have only got from a live Philharmonic Orchestra. And if you're looking for a fantastic Wi-Fi speaker that hits your ears with 3000 watts, which is the legal limit for a nightclub speaker in Europe, then you should get the Phantom and that won't be a problem. Once again, I'd like to thank all of the new subscribers and current subscribers to the What Gear channel. You truly are some of the finest subscribers known to man. And I would really appreciate it if you could share these videos with your Facebook friends. And thank you for watching What Gear. It is a new week and we have a new addition to the What Gear Wolfpack Wall of Fame. And this is someone that has been following the channel for some time and his name just kind of fit the bill. So welcome to the Wolfpack Team Phantom. You should now be Gear Wolfpack Wall of Fame and I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.